Here we have Diamine's Ox Blood. It's one I've been wanting to try to get my hands on for a while, and I finally remembered to order up a uh, sample of it. Put it in my Hero 616, which is a very fine sort of uh, nib, uh, although they don't mark them, but uh, those of you who have written with them know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's a super dark cherry color, like a black cherry almost. Very close to just being straight up you know, black from any distance. Uh, but as we move down here, you can see that it's uh, pretty close to the red black and the you know, significantly lighter than the black swan English roses. Uh, but I, I just can't decide which one I like better out of these. I might just have to get one to grade with since I do a lot of grading. And here it is in a smear. Uh, so seeing the gradients in that smear, I imagine that if you had a broad nib or uh, something like that, it would look pretty stellar and much more red than it does for me. So let's see how it holds up now. Uh, I don't know what to expect out of these. I've only had one other diamine ink ever, and that was that meadow we showed you before, and it didn't behave particularly well underwater. And uh, this one also is, uh, well, it's coming up pretty hard. The uh, water blob there is already kind of red, so let's move it around a little bit. Oh yeah, this is going to come right off. Maybe not the right ink to grade with then, since... Uh, it seems to just come straight off the paper. You can see a little bit of ghost, some fine uh, sort of barely pink lines, uh, but hell, I might be imagining those. I don't know. This is uh, this one is not any kind of water resistant at all. It comes straight off the page, but it looks beautiful while it's sitting there. So there you go. That's diamine oxblood.